I have a serious question. Where the hell is all the snow? Dude, it's December 12th. That's kind of a weird word to say. 12th. 12th? 12th? All I'm trying to say is, man, normally by now, we have a lot of snow. I'm snowboarding. I'm shredding the slopes. I'm loving it. My snowboard has been sitting in the corner spot for so long. Just waiting to be ridden, to be rode. <sighs> it better snow soon. Last season, we got snow super early, so I guess that's kind of making up for it. But I was hoping we would have got the same thing. Global warming, mother nature, whoever's doing this. Let us have some snow. All right, guys, no more me crying about having no snow. Check this out. We're about to enter the fifth prestige. Last night, I live streamed, and it was one of my best BO3 live streams yet, man. I had some crazy gameplays. Expect to see that stream uploaded as we speak. I'm actually downloading it now. So I plan to upload that later, and hopefully it will upload okay, because sometimes I have issues with uploading streams. But, uh, yeah, it was super sick. If you're not following me on Twitch, follow me up because when I go live, everything goes. The communication's incredible. The feedback, the, the connection with you guys, it's great. But check this out. My detailed stats, 14,622 kills, 3.58 KD, 1.72 win loss, and 421 score per minute. Before, it was like 412 or something, maybe 11. It went up to 421, so that means we've been getting more XP quicker, which is great. Here are some more um, in-depth stats. Once again, my favorite weapon, ICR, Reaper. It says the Frag now, which I've been using more, but I still prefer the Thermite and the Talon, which I haven't been using as much. I've been using the Cerberus now because it's cheaper, and it can get you a lot of kills. Kills per use, 3.38. Oh, I did not even realize that. Check this out. We have 262 rates, 230 Cerberuses. The fact that my Cerberuses almost got more kills than my Wraith is saying a lot. In my stream last night, I was having games where the Wraith was getting kill feeds. Kill feeds. And then there's other times where it gets taken out in a second. Only 1.23 with the Hellstorm. That's not too great. Well, I get a lot more kill. 2.5A, I get more kills than that. 3.76. Mothership, 8.62 kills per use. Guess it's something. Dude, I never would check this stuff out. Look at this. Specialist, Scythe, kills, 387. 2.61 kills per use. We could see what we get the most kills with, which is pretty cool. The Scythe is my best one so far. War Machine's not too bad. I'll just keep going down the list here. Ooh, 5.05. .05. It shocks other people around it. It's cool. It's not bad, 3.67. Huh, how is that calculated? I got 4.25 kills per use. I actually never checked these weapon stats out, and it's cool to see what weapon you play best with. 2.91. Had more kills with it, but my KD's higher with the M8. The VMP, oh my god, 3.07. Damn, that's why I love the VMP so much, because I normally do pretty good with it. 3.19, HVK stepping up. Kuda 2.81, 2.74. Vesper's not as high, but I think it's going up because I've been using it more and enjoying it more. 3.5, 3.92 with the dredge. Ooh, that thing's a beast. 3.11 with the Gorgon. I had some ridiculous Gorgon gameplays during my stream using my war torn camo that I got with this. Oh my god. Crazy good. 2.5, 2.96, 4.2, 420. Got a 12 with this. All right. Now let's go ahead and show off my classes because I know you're curious. I've been trying to use different stuff. But I do have a few favorites I've been rocking with since the start. Here we have the Man of War. It's not my favorite AR. I prefer the ICR. I prefer the HVK. I might even prefer the KN. I don't know. The Man of War is good, but I feel like it's not very consistent in my opinion. From medium range, it dominates. From far away, it kicks a little too much unless you burst. I don't know. It's all preference, but I do have a class for it. I'm not going to go super in-depth over everything. You guys can pause it if you want to get a better look. Here we have the Vesper. This thing, I've been using it more, like I was saying. And it's pretty beastly, dudes. Very beastly. I want to test it with fast mags and extended mags. That's going to be pretty crazy, I think. The Vesper shoots super quick, and from close up, you'll just kill everything. This is like the VMP's competitor, though the VMP is better for range. I've also picked up the Weevil, and I'm surprised how good this thing can perform. I went on a crazy streak during a stream again, where I picked it up and I was just doing work. There's a lot of crazy intense moments during my stream that I can't wait to go back and see. But I do love using this Rush East, kind of stealthy with Dead Silence here. 
and we can be pretty aggressive with Tag Mask. Next up, the Gorgon. As I said, I recently got this War Torn camo, which makes it look pretty dang sweet, if I do say so. The Gorgon is so powerful. My first game using it, I got a 60 bomb, 60 plus kills. In the next game, I think I got like 80 kills. Craziness. Such a powerful gun. Two shot LMG. Lots of fun to use there. Next class, the M8A7. I always have an M8A7 class, man. This gun, oh my goodness. If you're in the zone and you're focused, there's like nothing that could stop you. It's so accurate, super deadly from range. Really like this weapon. One of my go-tos for sure. You know what? I kind of messed up. Like, I was going for the mothership for my last game, my stream. I had this on, wasn't even making use of it, and I thought I had tack mask, and I died because I didn't have tack mask. It was, it was pretty, it was pretty shameful. Ooh, I gotta remove something. Because I want a tack mask too. I actually might take off flat jacket. I guess I'm doing that. There you have it. VMP, I love this thing. I've been trying to max it out. Haven't been using it as much though. Got two stars going for that max prestige for this gun. I haven't been going for camos. I probably should. I know a lot of people love going for camos and they're cool to see you get them. But I just haven't been doing them. But I, I should because you get more XP. Here we have the ICR. I think this is my favorite weapon in the game. Even though they're making more weapons more accurate and easy to use, which is why the ICR is so good, I still like it and do very well with it. That's why I have gold, because I like it that much. Quick draw, long barrel, black self, thermite, flat jacket, scavenger, awareness, tack mask. This is like a very survivable class. I go on long streaks, get my high score streaks. I like it a lot. Next up, the Haymaker. This shotgun, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's fun. I still think the AA-12 from MW2 was better than this. It's fun, dude. If you're having fun, that's all that matters. It's like a really aggressive rushy, get in their face as fast as you can. I want to get rapid fire because I think that'll make a big difference. Maybe even long barrel too. That'd be great. Here's my stealthy KN-44 class. The KN-44 is, I think, pretty underestimated. It's so strong and for being the first AR, it kills very quick. So we got Ghost, Fast Hands, Dead Silence, Awareness. It's fun to use. Well, there you go. Those are my setups. Now, check out my specialist, guys. Look at this. I got all the max gear for this dude, the Viking gear. For my Outrider, I have the Hornet max gear for that, but I've been rocking this one because it's not as bright and vibrant. The Hornet's like yellow. It kind of stands out more. For my Prophet, of course, I have the Cyberpunk, which looks cool. So does this one, and so does that. They all look cool, man. I got the maxed out gear for my Battery, Victory, which I actually love the, the Murica one, honestly, but... Victory does look pretty BA, but look at Murica. Th that color scheme is all on me. This one's cool too, man. They're all very cool. She's looking sweet. Of course, my Seraph's maxed out. I'm gonna literally purchase this just so I can show you. Oh, I got a new boast for this? Let's, let's show it off. Give him a roar. Oh, there you go. I'll put it on to show you the dragon. There you have it. But that's not all. Well, my Nomad. He's not maxed out yet. Working on the Hive kills. I'm working on the rejack kills. I feel like a big noob when I use it, but hey, I'm going for the maxed out gear. Of course, we have the maxed out gear for my scythe, but I prefer the high tech because it just looks so clean, though you do kind of stand out more, but it just looks so good. Look at that. So cool looking. I love it. Haven't got this dude, and I haven't got this dude yet, so we're getting close, and once I have the maxed out gear for, that, like for them, I might have a specific series dedicated road to hero gear for every specialist let's talk a little about score streaks so in the recent patch they buffed up a lot of the high streaks giving them more flares making the mothership do more damage and have a bigger splash the raps have more flares i think even the talon has more damage this has a larger blast radius and more bombs that drops they made stuff better and i love the fact that triarch you know is taking our feedback and making the game better they want this game to be as good as we want this game to be good. They care about our feedback, and they're going to do anything and make any adjustments to make this game better. That's their duty, man. Our duty is to play this game and to let them know what we think, because if we don't let them know, then they won't know what to change. It is officially time to prestige. About to become like a bowl. Ooh, look at that. It's like a centaur, whatever they're called. I'm doing it. Yep, that's right. Enter Prestige 5. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Permanent unlock. Now, I already got the perks I wanted later on. Guys, I might actually do it. Because I believe they also buffed the Razorback, made it even easier to use when I already thought it was accurate as it was. I'm doing it. Permanently unlock it. There we go. 
Now it's time to make a class with it. I want to fall in love with this gun. In the beta, I loved it so much, but I want to love it even more. So does this thing even need the grip? I feel like it doesn't because it shoots accurate enough. This is going to be like a survivable, stealthy-ish little Slayer class here. I tried to put a magic kill confirmed, and my team got absolutely smashed. It seems like whenever there's a mode that has some objective, it just doesn't work out most of the time if you're playing by yourself. I love playing kill confirmed because you get some much XP, but it's not fun when, you, when you're getting absolutely dominated. So, how about just straight up TDM, man. Me and my Razorback are going to get along perfectly. Since I prefer ARs, I think that's why I've always loved the Razorback. But since the beta, they did something to it that makes it not as good. I don't know what exactly changed from the beta to the real game, but it's definitely not as powerful as it was. Oh, I gotta be careful though, because... Dude, the spawns in TDM are gonna be flipping back and forth real quick. Watch out. Oh, look at that, dude. You know what? Flat jacket? I've been thinking about it, and I don't know if I'm going to use it as much as I used to, because I always normally like, jump away from grenades. For the most part. Please keep spawning back here. It's going to be more, I'm, I'm guessing, right? Yo, jump, jump that, bro. Oh, damn. Did even hurt him. Think he'll push me? Yo, I gotta step back with this gun. I have to. If I push up, I'll die by a VMP Vesper. This is like an assault rifle. I'm gonna ignore him and take a different path. Look at that, dude. That's that's where it excels. That's where it does well. From that range, honestly. Ooh, there's still so many guys back here. Ooh, Tempest time. Should I rock it out? Yo, whip it out. I'm whipping it out. Ooh, another. I'm going to push him. So I'm keeping my gun ready. Who's next? Come on. There's got to be more. Over here now. Oh, I see you. Oh, I missed by a sliver. Literally. I got to move my hat, too. I have a hat right under my monitor. It's kind of blocking, like, a portion of the screen. When there's anything obstructing my screen at all, it's just annoying. I'm going to quickly use this in the middle. Whatever. There you go. Talon. Oh my god, we're still down though. This is not good. I don't like losing, man. This is why I didn't have fun last game. Oh my god, Talon. I love you. Keep shooting, Talon. I killed them by throwing the grenade at them. Gotta love it. Push them. Whoa! Oh, man. We got two dudes holding hands. One was actually a girl. Our whole team's flooding them. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! The more I use this Razorback, the more I like it. And I mean that, dude. You ain't living. Back up. Back it up. Got this again. No! What the hell happened there? Why'd my screen get all messed up? Oh! That's so sad, losing your specialist weapon before you even get a kill with it. Man. I'm all sad now. Where are you? Damn. There you are. Do what? <sighs> they spawn me there, then they instantly spawn enemies behind me after after I spawn. Dude, ridiculous. I just want to have a fun time and win. It's so difficult to win games. Like what are these, what are these guys doing? Behind us, if I had to guess. Down. 
Please kill him. Game's not done yet. I want to take this thing out. If I can. Without wasting all my ammo. Oh my god, the whole team's in there. Please kill one at least. Nothing. Damn, man! Tempest! I'm gonna risk a little bit. Shock more, bro. Oh! It was gonna shock more! I won 29-4, 7.25 KD. Unfortunately, as the story goes for me, every time I play solo, I don't know why my team is... noobs, to say the least. That's, that's me being as polite as possible. Call my teammates noobs. We almost kind of ish one, maybe. I don't know. We tried, right? We tried. If Triarch fixed the way they balance teams in this game, I would love it so, so much. So much. Because I really do love Black Ops 3, and I still think it's one of the most satisfying and addictive Call of Duty's to date. But the team balancing. Don't give me people that are literally pulling me down. Like, at least have them go positive. You know what I'm saying? There should be a threshold of who they put in your team against the enemies, but I tried. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, we could have win the game, but I gave it my elite shot. I do every single game. If I'm not winning, at least know I'm trying my best to win. I mean that. If you enjoyed this though, please smash that thumbs up button and in the comments below, what level are you and what prestige do you hope to be by the end of double XP? I'm going for 6th, I think we can make it, we just gotta keep grinding, that's all we gotta do, is grind. Alright guys, stay tuned for more live streams, I definitely plan to live stream during this double XP, so follow me on Twitch for now already, and keep them eyes peeled. Alright guys, I'm signing out, my name's Sean, aka Elite Shot, I'm always gonna be your friendly cop fanboy, but I'm signing out, PEACE!